Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! It's the magical time. Hello there, my name is Jamin Jackson. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. I am your online arbiter of Lindy Hop. I'm excited to watch this new clip uh, that I've never seen before. I've heard about this event and I know a lot of great dancers go there. So uh, we're gonna dive right into it. It is a strictly Lindy Hop competition, which, which basically means that these dancers are going to be improvising. Uh, they don't really know a whole lot of what's going to happen but there are portions of it that will be choreographed so you will get a little bit of choreography you will get a little bit of improvisation and how do you judge that so we're going to talk about that after uh, i watch it but i'm going to be looking for three key areas um, in order to give a good assessment of what i feel i would have uh, ranked these people as and, and the order that i would have placed them if i was attending the event so let's jump right into it and here we go all right let's take a look take a look sophia swing i like that logo dance festival i'm sure it's in sophia come on audience let's get into it Ooh, I like this band already. Uh, what's great about these types of competitions, uh, advanced is, is not really highlighted. They don't say if it's an advanced or open or whatever. It just says strictly Lindy. So I don't know uh, what the levels are gonna be officially, but I can tell you, I see some familiar faces that are quite advanced as dancers. So I'm assuming this is the only level uh, at this event, so this should be a real treat. I'm excited. So far, uh, people are warming up well. Yeah. I like this guy's ponytail in the front. I wish I could grow one like that. It'd take me years to... <sighs> then I'd be the guy with the dreads, right? <laughs> I like her. Oh, I know her. I'm like, I like her red shoes. That's Ida. She's one of uh, my dance partners that I work with when I teach in Europe. And this is gonna be interesting watching her dance from a really critical eye, which every judge has to deal with that. We have to judge our friends, so. Let's see. And that's George, yes it is. Ba ba da ba da ba ba ba. All right, I'm gonna take few notes. I'm gonna grab my pen real quick. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, people who jump out here and do Strictly's, I salute you. It's not easy getting up in front of a lot of people with all those lights. Let's see what happens. Yes! Yeah! Now so far everything I see them doing is pretty much social dancing. Which scores big on my points. Okay. Good timing, good timing. Yeah, I like some of these moves.
Yes! Alright! Yes! Good timing, good timing. Yes! Yeah, I love, I love this couple's outfit together. Oh, I like that. I like that. Ah, oh, great timing, great timing. Yes, yes. Yes, good timing. Yes. Yes! Yeah, very good, very good. Come on now. Okay, so that was all the couples. So it looks like they're gonna speed it up. Okay, this is the make or break uh, uh, round because a lot of things can unravel, a lot of things can blossom depending on how fast they can dance. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, classic. It's like, gotta go. <laughs> all right, all right. Get on your feet. Well, actually, don't get on your feet. So I can't see, right?
Yes! Ooh, yes! Yes, very good, guys. Very, very, very good, 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 good. Oh, it's so much fun actually being able to judge these things online because I can be a little bit more flamboyant in my response because typically when you're at an event like this, the judges have to have their James Bond face on, right? But uh, I love enjoying myself. I love being entertained to, to capture that feeling. And this was a really special, um, strictly because like I mentioned before, I like to judge competitions by three concepts. And I think most of these dancers did all three. So there's only a few things that I could look at dancer because most of it is preference. So um, the thing I look for, number one, is obviously control. I want to see if the dancers can control the technique. Now, what do I mean by technique? Everybody uses different words to explain the same thing. I like to see the leader create energy for the follower and then wait. And so that the audience and the viewer can clearly see what the follower is doing. Because obviously the follower is the effect of what has been called. And so most of the dancers uh, did that well. I would say some of the ones that did it more, more efficiently than others had their sets more choreographed. And so I kind of take it back a little bit. If I see more choreography and everybody has the control part, I'm not gonna look at the choreographed part because the follower kind of knows what's gonna happen next. So in a way, I'm not looking at control the same way with them. So the couple number one that I think that nailed the control part was the follower who uh, did kind of like a chase. She put her leg between the leader's legs and he had a really big hat on. Um, they nailed the control part. They nailed it. They did more social dancing than choreographed things. So uh, when I looked at them, they nailed it. I also looked at the couple. Uh, I believe it was the second couple. He had like tan pants. She had black, black hair. She had black hair. Their control was beautiful. I could see a call and response. Um, they were the best two for me. Next thing I look at is timing. I like to see how well they can match their, their biggest movements or contrast, I would say, between one move to the other on the loudest part of the music that people can generally understand. Like if you're a non-swing dance listener, uh, you don't really listen to swing music or any of this and you can hear the phrasing where on that fourth eight count it's about to change or in a blue structure it's like six eight counts right um, they build up something and then it changes at that point so that I can hear the music and see some type of accompanying choreography or improvised movement that matches that the couple number one on that is the one that had their whole set choreographed they were the last set uh, they had she, I believe she had orange on. They were crushing it. And you can't be choreography when it comes to timing. It's super hard unless you just have the, the perfect moment with your partner um, when you're improvising, which is a very rare thing. So big hats off to those who came prepared in the Strictly because obviously a Strictly is not all social dance, but it is somewhat choreographed too. And that couple nailed it. So for me, they were number one in that area. Uh... The last thing I look at is the creativity. I like to see something that I haven't seen before or something that is older done a different way. And I think there are really two couples that stood out the most to me. So if, if everybody had control, if everybody had timing, this that last ingredient is the thing I'm looking for and it's that creative move. Now, some of the aerials were great. Some of the couples did aerials. And uh, none of the aerials were different, so I wasn't really looking at it as, wow, they did aerials, nobody else did. I can't really do that. Some of them did the exact same aerials. So as a judge, I'm having to look at other things, right? Being able to do the aerial is just basically control. Um, so if I'm looking for that creative element, that one thing that I didn't see anybody else do um, and do it well without it being too choreographed, I would have to give number one, first place to the couple 
Uh, she, I think she had like a, like a flowery, like a black dress with flowers on it. And he had a really, really big apple hat. For me, they had all three of them, um, the best. And the reason I give them the slight edge over the couple that had their, their set choreographed is because most of what they did that looked like it stood out wasn't actually choreographed. It was just their natural way of moving and their style and their swagger. And, and those are just different words to describe the thing that no one else is really doing, that unique thing that you can do um, in the way you do it, that no one else could do it more effectively, even if they tried imitating you. And I think they were the most unique couple if I had to watch them. Um, my second place goes to the last couple that had the choreographed sets. I love the choreography. A lot of great, uh, fast, uh, Charleston movements that went from one one style of Charleston to you know hand to hand and then quickly into like tandem. I love that kind of stuff. I mean that's not easy stuff to just do uh, under pressure. So big shout out to them. I would have them in second place, and my third place uh, was a tough one. I, I think for me I would have had uh, Ira. I know her name. She had the red shoes on. Uh, both both her and her partner were matching with the blue. Um, I would have had them at third place because they obviously were able to do an aerial. They also had the control part. I wouldn't say it would. It didn't look as controlled as maybe some of the other dancers who focus more on a polished look of their control. Uh, unfortunately, that's a style of Lindy Hop where it looks a little bit more polished and slow and predictable. But the creativity part in, in the terms of syncopations and looking different and, and moving in the head, the personality part is what stood out to me. I would have said, yeah, they're, they're definitely third place. Um, they set themselves out apart from the other dancers. Nobody really had any major blunders, which is cool to have that. But when we're judging something that is subjective, it is hard. It's really hard. It really boils down to what you value. And for me as a judge and as a professional dancer, those are the things I value. I lean more on the creative side, the creativity part, um, when they're, everybody's good. When the control part's really high and the timing's really high, I'm looking for the one or two things that a, a couple can do that nobody else is really doing. That makes my value of that dancer or that couple go up much, much more. So anyways, what do you guys think about this competition? This was a pretty good one. I'd love to visit this event at some point when I'm in that part of the world just to just dance with people. If you guys have never done a Strictly um, you need to learn how to do it. There's some formatting things that, that go along with that. So I would encourage you to take some lessons from some of these dancers. I know some of these people personally, they're great teachers. Um, they will help you learn how to Lindy Hop. If you don't get out and travel and you're online, I encourage you, if you're trying to figure this out, take some of my classes below. You'll learn a little bit more about my approach to Lindy Hop. Um, each week we're given like new moves out every single week. We try to do stuff that hasn't been seen on the internet because the internet has become this homogenous thing with Lindy Hop where everybody kind of shares the same information. But my gifts and talent is in creating new stuff. And we have a alumni community where we share those ideas together. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Got like 20 something courses below that are really free and uh, will help you get some inspiration and some basic understanding of how to make Lindy Hop simple. With that being said, who do you think won this competition? I had my favorites. Gentleman with the big hat, don't know your name, hats off. Follower, his partner, you were crushing it. The little little chase thing between the legs, that was like the standout move for me. That stood out uh, more than a lot of the other things that I saw. So you guys, hats off to you. Um, incredible. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, if you guys are going to do it strictly sometime, good luck to you. It's a lot of practice, a lot of work. You can do it. If I don't see you online in class, I will see you in the next reaction video. You need to check out this event. It looks awesome. Take care.